What you're going to see today is demonstrations of the environment on Windows and on Linux. And one of the things you're going to see today is the idea that no matter what it is that you write with Amiga, it runs on Amiga. I don't care if you wrote it in Linux, I don't care if you wrote it in Windows, and pretty soon native on Amiga. The important thing is whatever you write can run anywhere Amiga lives, which means your code can run without change, mind you, no change, on 14 different processors and 9 different operating systems. Okay. As an example, we'll start over here. We have, we have an ISO 1.44 floppy disk. Put it in Windows. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I didn't know about the whole floppy unmount thing, and that really hurt. I'm giving a demo. So we clicked on the Windows thing, and, we didn't, and because I'm such a gearhead, it launches for me. <laughs> so here we are. This is all running from the floppy. We've loaded an operating system. I'm going to go your way. Okay. There it goes. New interface. And a game. And I'm really bad at it, so I'll just let it run like that. Now, for those of you guys that are interested in open source movements, the Amiga open source, open Amiga list is phenomenal. In fact, this game was, came from open source. Okay, same exact floppy. No change, no sleight of hand, nothing at my sleeves. We go to the Linux box. Trust your feelings, Luke. I am your father. <laughs> Okay, we click on Linux. Let's do a lot of fun mount, unmount, whatever. There it goes. Loading from the floppy. So that same floppy. Same floppy. Same binary, same code. And I'm still just as bad on Linux as I am on Windows. So nothing's really changing, has it? <laughs> you can leave right now. <laughs> 